Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Dear esteemed guests, honorable delegates, and distinguished advisors, four days ago, I stood here before you and delivered my speech to open this conference. I have no idea how those four days have passed. Although the days felt very long because, because we were running around the whole time, but still, it felt like yesterday. We're really glad that all of you here made it to Georgetown Model United Nations, especially knowing that some of you made, it, made a very hard trip and even had to leave some delegates behind. Thank you, delegates, for all the heated debates, and thank you, advisors, for guiding your delegates throughout the process. Thank you for being part of this conference. You are the ones that made it as great as it is. 10 years of MUN, and I have honestly never seen anything like that. In all honesty, I came into committee sessions. The debate was so heated that it was a little unparliamentary. But I thought, this is what we need. If this is what it takes to reach the high quality of debate that you guys have reached, then let it be. And it got me thinking. If policymakers debate as passionately as you guys did, instead of surrendering to the euphemisms of politics, we will definitely be more pleased with politics. I hope that your experiences what were, were what you expected and even better. Because everything, including the cultural night last night, was amazing. I couldn't have ended my MUN career and my Georgetown journey on a better note. Thank you very much. Please help me in welcoming the amazing Secretary General of this conference, Nayab Rana. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of just going to echo what Ren said. So um, after four years of GMUN, I'm sad to say that this is the last time I'm going to be standing up here and addressing you all yet again at another closing ceremony. Um, I hope this is enough of a disclaimer that this is going to be one of the cheesiest speeches you're going to ever sit through, so heads up. <laughs> Um, but I honestly thought my last MUN, I'd use it to, you know, have a lot of fun. It's like my last chance to observe debate and like read all these notes and look at these impromptu karaoke sessions and things like that. Um, and though I did take part in those, like, I feel like I was more surprised to find that my last MUN turned out to be a lot more reflective than I thought it would be. And again, don't get me wrong, um, as all MUNs are, I had a blast. Um, but more than that, I think this conference helped me realize why eighth grade me started doing MUN in the first place, and why I stuck with it for so long. So MUN is basically a way for us to actually talk about and discuss what's actually going on in the world. And it really baffles me that we don't already do this in society, and there's not actually a place for us to do this in society already, and to do it, you have to like sign up for this thing called MUN. Um, I would like to think I would like to take this opportunity, actually, not only to thank you proactive delegates who came all the way here and spent four days with us talking about the future and taking part in an extracurricular where you had to research, which I'm sure all your friends were like, what are you doing? <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'd also like to extend my most heartfelt thank you to all the advisors who took time and initiative and came out here to bring you all here um, and only did it for the purpose of learning and for your betterment and to help us shape the generation of tomorrow. So I really think the advisors deserve a round of applause. So um, delegates, I cannot begin to describe to you how proud and appreciative I am for the performance you all have given in this conference. Um, this has honestly been one of the best batches of delegates that I've ever had the pleasure of seeing. Um, and I'd like to thank you so much, because honestly speaking, if you guys weren't as enthusiastic and as prepared, as, an, as intense in debate as you were, this conference wouldn't have been what it was. So thank you so much for making this a wonderful and memorable experience for all of us. So. Yeah. 
Lastly, I would like to extend a quick thank you to my Georgetown friends and MUN family. <laughs> um, I don't think anybody understands how above and beyond these people went to create this conference for you. I don't really think a lot of them knew what they were signing up for when they signed up for GMUN, and they found out really fast that it was a lot more than it, one would think it would be. Um, but from missing class, even though we told them not to, to spending hours in the MUN office, stuffing folders and cutting name tags, and then sitting on the floor with me while I'm having like a panic attack and yelling at the printer, like these people have been through it all. Um, I don't think you guys understand how much we appreciate you and how this really couldn't have been possible without all of you. So thank you for being my MUN family for the past four years, and I really don't think thank you is a strong enough word, but thank you very, very much, and we love you all. So now the moment you guys have been waiting for, we will be moving into the award ceremony for the evening. So um, all the presidents from all the presiding committees will come up and announce their best delegates and honorable mentions. Um, at this point, we'd like the students who are being uh, called upon to please come on stage and take a photo with their award and their chair. So for starters, could we please have the president of DISAC, Yun Suk Choi. Uh, thank you. Thank you. As the first committee, as the largest committee in Georgetown Model UN, I had the honor of being the president of the Disarmament and International Security uh, Committee. And I, I'd like to say, well, first of all, a huge shout out to my, to Fiza and Adam for my, for being the best vice president and repertoire I can ask for. And, and also to, to, uh, to Ola, Noor, and Shema for being great staffs, passing notes, passing notes. Um, the, this, the DISEC passed, uh, we had 16 unmoderated caucuses, we had three resolutions, 58 delegates. We passed the resolution with 48 votes. We passed six amendments on that resolution. So I think the debate was very heated. It was very, very, uh, I was very happy. I think it was, as my last conference, it was, I was happy to end it in one of the best committees I've been in. So uh, last but not least, huge shout out to all the delegates that made it uh, such a special. Right. Uh, with that, I'd like to announce the two honorable mentions in, our, in my committee first. Uh, the first, drum roll. Uh, the first honorable mention goes to the delegate of Myanmar. The second honorable mention goes to, <laughs> goes to a delegate with, with a very distinct accent, the delegate of Germany. Uh, and now for the best delegate. Drum roll, please. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no words needed. The best delegate goes to the delegate of Iraq. Next, next, I like to. Next up, we have the president of UNEP. After endless motions being failed, countless fact-checking efforts, threats of declaring war in an environmental committee, and delegates of Qatar wonderful beatboxing skills, I am sad to say that today marks the end of this wonderful conference and wonderful committee. It was a blast to be chair in UNEP. Our delegates were bl brilliant, funny, and charismatic. The dynamics of the room kept the debate lively and interesting. We challenged our, de uh, our delegates with a crisis which they faced very gracefully. And by gracefully, I mean threatening to declare war and rights of reply every two seconds. <laughs> However, this did not stop our delegates from coming up with diplomatic, well-articulated resolution. It was a pleasure to be a president in UNEP and moderate the debate between such amazing delegates. I would like to extend my appreciation to my vice president and rapporteur. It was a blessing to chair with you all. Now that I'm done with my melodramatic speech, I would like to introduce our honorable mentions and best delegate. Drum roll, please. 
Honorable mentions goes to France and Germany. And now for the best delegate, Delegate of Colombia. Madam Secretary General, Executive, Executive Board members, fellow chairs, delegates, and guests. The International Court of Justice, after due deliberation regarding the applications submitted by Ukraine in the proceedings of Ukraine v. the Russian Federation, concerning the case of application of the International Convention for the Suppression of the Financing of Terrorism and of the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, discrimination. based on the evidence and testimony presented in court, we believe that the application sub submitted by Ukraine has indeed met the burden of proof, demonstrating that the Russian Federation has indeed violated international law. The Russian Federation is proven to have funded terrorist activities in the Donetsk and Luhansk region of eastern Ukraine and have discriminated and violated basic human rights, such as the freedom to assembly of the Crimean Tatar people. Therefore, the International Court of Justice orders of judges and decrees that the Russian Federation has indeed violated the two conventions mentioned above. The Russian Federation has must halt the transportation of Russian arms and troops across the Lushan Donetsk and border, the Republic of Crimea federal subject, and the city of Sevastopol, federal city of the Russian Federation, must seize the ban on the measures of the Crimean Tatar people. Regarding applications submitted by the state of Qatar requesting an advisory opinion on the legality of the blockade imposed on Qatar by Bahrain, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, based on evidence and investigation carried out by the justices of the ICJ. We believe that it is indeed illegal, and therefore the ICJ recommends for direct dialogue between the parties involved to mediate the current dispute, blockading countries to seize the blockade as a sign of good faith. I would like to take this time to thank my fellow vice president, registrar, advocates, and judges for their hard work over the past few days. Next, I would like to welcome Judge Leonora Sofia Munoz and the advocate for the Russian Federation Zhao and Lee for receiving honorable mention in the ICJ. Congratulations. <laughs> Last, I would like to welcome the advocate for Ukraine, Aisha Ahmed, for receiving the Best Delegate Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, please welcome the President of the Historical Security Council. Um, ladies and gentlemen, kids, a very good afternoon to all of you. Um, my name is Walid Zahur, and uh, some of you who have been coming here like again and again for the MUN, some of you know me as the ISIS guy, a reputation <laughs> I've tried to like kind of enjoy as odd as it may seem. But yeah, uh, the chairs came up and talked about their committee, so I think like for a change I would talk about myself, <laughs> of uh, how an amazing chair I have been to my delegates. And uh, um, you guys are laughing, but I actually got a gold star for it. Like, <laughs> one of my delegates gave me a good gold star, and I see the chair sitting, but no gold star. So I think it says something. <laughs> but uh, also, of course, I, I had an amazing company. My co-chairs, Hala and Tala. I would like to thank them for their, for, for their input in the committees. And Hala and Tala would like to thank the committee members for calling them cute. Un unfortunately, I cannot thank them for that because no one called me cute. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not, I don't think I should be happy about this or not, but they called me an angry bird. So that, that's something, going with something. As, as for the committee, indeed, um, as they say, saving the best for the last, I wasn't saving anything, but I indeed got the best for my last committee because I'm graduating in two months. So shout out for all the uh, members of my committee. It was a... Uh, <clears throat> it, 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 was, it was a really nice time with you. And uh, for, for our honorable mentions and the best delegate award, uh, the first delegate, she, she showed leadership in the committee. Uh, she tried to bring everyone on the same page and impressed everyone with her ex excellent ne negotiative and diplomatic skills. So the first delegate, uh, honorary mention, who is not, with her today, is not here with us today, but her name is Hannah Collins. I would like for a round of applause for our friend Hannah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
the next delegate impressed her with uh, taking on challenges and also her active participation. And the next best uh, honorable mention goes to princes uh, who <laughs> represented. Our, our committee was so good, like we had decided to have a third honorable mention. And the third honorable mention goes to this delegate who impressed us uh, with her calm attitude in the committee and who in the faces of crisis also kind of bring together everyone on the same page and move the committee forward. So the next honorable mention goes to delegate of the United States of America, Zaina Saab. And the delegate for our, uh, who stood out as the best delegate definitely showed his experience with the MUN, had a, defended his country in dire circumstances. And I would like to welcome Ahmed for uh, the delegate of Russia, the Soviet Union, for the best delegate of all. Before I invite our next uh, uh, chair, I would just like to say, if anyone has not tried the lemon cake at Spider Cafe, it's really, really good. You all have to try the lemon cake at Spider Cafe. With that, I would like to invite the chair of the Human Rights Commission to come in. Okay, let me pull my phone up. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Amal Khatib. I'm the president of the UNHRC. Thank you very much. Um, so throughout the four days of debate, um, my amazing committee, uh, we discussed the two main uh, topics, um, securing human necessities in conflict zones with a focus on the cases of the Rohingya and the Yemen. Uh, and uh, to, we focused also on the right to privacy in the digital age. Um, we came away with a much deeper understanding of the topics than we had went in. Um, and this was due, obviously, to the heated debate that we had had at times. We spent around more than three hours getting through right to replies from KSA, Turkey, and Iran. So thank you very much, guys. Um, before I move on, I'd like to thank uh, Selma, my VP, and I'd like to thank my rap, Manahel. Um, they've been amazing, super, super helpful. Also, shout out to the staff, Katie and Sujin. Amazing, honestly. And Buthaina, thank you so much. And Massa. Um, now, um, before I also announce the honorable mentions and the best delegates, I'd like to give a verbal mention to the delegates of Canada, Tanzania, and overall to all of the amazing, amazing, amazing delegates who had put in so much effort into the debate. It was amazing, and it couldn't have been possible without you guys. Okay, now, um, first honorable mention um, goes to uh, the delegate who um, constantly asked for feedback, was always there when it came to uh, uh, drafting and writing resolutions, um, the delegate of India, please. Um, next, uh, I'd like to welcome the second honorable mention. She has spent, um, she was the one who by far had spoken um, top two, uh, she, she was one of the most who had spoken throughout the entire debate. Um, could you please everyone welcome the delegate of Lithuania. And for best delegate, uh, there's a little story. I walked into my committee room early, and this delegate was there. Uh, he was the very first delegate who was there, and he asked me, yo, bro, what's up? I was like, not much, bro, how are you? And he's like, good, what delegate are you? I'm like, I'm the president. <laughs> and he goes, oh, no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And he spent the next day apologizing to me. Please welcome the delegate of Chile. Um, next, I'd like to welcome the president of SpecPol, Samir al Haj Abu. Thank you. Um, so, SpecPol was a journey. It was uh, a mixture of highs and lows, where at some point I did get mad, but I just had to talk to all of you once, and then we all kept it together. We went from dancing to debating, and everyone was just amazing, and I think this was one of the most, most amazing committees I've ever been with as a whole in my last three years in MUN. Um, I'd 
I'm gonna begin with my honorable mentions so that they have time to come on stage. The first one goes to the delegate of Poland. <laughs> See, at some point the delegate of Poland sent us a note telling us how he thinks that the vice president and the president hate him. I didn't understand why he did that, but. <laughs> My second honorable mention, she passed her resolution. She debated in a, such an amazing way and always made valid points. The delegate of Thailand, can you please come on stage? <laughs> Last but not least, can I have a drum roll, please? My best delegate passed Two resolutions, not one. She, the second one was merged, and she was. Uh, she told us she owns. She owned two cheetahs as a child, which was amazing. She was amazing even yesterday at the cultural night, and she won best dressed female as well in the committee. The delegate of India. Um, I'm going to end this with thanking my VP, Malak al -Muh. Can you please stand up and get a round of applause? My rapporteur, unfortunately, isn't here, but it was Nadine al dahabi and she was amazing. My staff members, Masa and Shin Yang, they were both amazing and they helped so much. And I want to thank the board and Ms. Naila, uh, Jibin and Sara for making this happen the way it did. Thank you so much. Um, I'll welcome on stage now the president of ECOSOC, Aiza Khan. Good afternoon, everyone. I think it's important for everyone to know that ECOSOC is one of the most extraordinary committees I've had the pleasure of chairing. And I think that's evident from the fact that my committee was able to pass not one, but two unanimous resolutions. The way you were all able to collaborate blew the dais away. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking my co-chairs, Abad and Talal, who unfortunately could not be here today. But also. I would also like to thank my staff, Sara, Rawan, and Alanud, who, who ensured that our committee ran smoothly. I'm going to rush to the awards because I know that's what everyone's waiting for. The first honorable mention goes to the delegate of Tunisia. The second honorable mention goes to the delegate of Canada. Thirdly, the best delegate. Can we have a drum roll, please? The third best delegate goes to the delegate of South Africa. However, the committee was so extraordinary that we could not just give away one award. The second best delegate award goes to the delegate of Switzerland. Hi, everyone. Uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, the president of the Security Council could not make it today, so I will be giving out the awards for honorable mentions and the best delegate for the Security Council. The Security Council has had a productive and engaging four days. At the end, the willingness to build solidarity and commit to compromising solutions in the face of pressing issues like the North Korea nuclear deal and the imposition of sanctions on Iran became a goal that united all the delegates. By the fourth day of this conference, delegates learned to work together to pass revolution, resolutions by submitting numerous amendments, engaging in proper debate, and asking important questions. 
The chairs of the Security Council are immensely proud of its delegates, enthusiasm, and determination. There was never a dull moment in the committee room, and the delegates actively gave their 100% in all the debates and sessions. Two declarations of war later, courtesy of France and Taiwan, we have two honorable mentions and a best delegate. Our first honorable mention goes to the delegate of Taiwan. The delegate of Taiwan diligently provided excellent speeches and points of information that enriched the debate and was, and was the main submitter of one of the two resolutions on the North Korea nuclear threat. Our second honorable mention goes to the delegate of Libya. The delegate of, the delegate of Libya took on and answered a total of nine tough points of information that the chairs of this committee were extremely impressed by and felt that this earned the delegate an honorable mention. And finally, our best delegate. The delegate of Iran. The delegate of Iran from the first committee session was actively engaged in creating resolutions, finding effective solutions to each issue, and responded impressively well to the crisis in our committee that could have potentially incriminated the delegate's country. For these reasons, the chairs of the Security Council chose the delegate of Iran as the best delegate. Before I close my speech, I'd just like to say the delegates who didn't receive their um, certificates in the committee, can you please see me after this um, closing ceremony? I have your, uh, I have your certificates. Thank you. Uh, next up, Lina Noldin. Hi. Um, so I made this speech last year, and I told them that if I had to do it again this year, that I was going to cry on stage and that everyone was gonna see me as a mess, but I didn't put any makeup on, so let's do this. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna recognize all the seniors that have been with us during this MUN journey, and this is their last MUN. Can all the seniors please stand up? Um, I'll start with the Georgetown seniors who aren't uh, here right now. We have Khulud Shiba and Yara Al-Kahala. Um, they're part of the Georgetown staff and they are honestly, I don't know why they're in the same category because they're honestly what, some of the most kind and genuine people I have ever met in my life. But <laughs> uh, HSC Walid Zahur, the president of Walid Zuhur is oddly some of the funniest people in this world <laughs> in his own kind of way. <laughs> Walid will always be remembered for his very expressive face. <laughs> It's been an honor knowing you, honestly. <laughs> Is that why you're wearing all black? <laughs> um, next, we have Umar Al-Khatib. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to begin, Umar. Um, We've done so many programs together in Georgetown, and each time I find out something new about you. Not always good, but at least it's there. <laughs> um, Yun Suk Choi. I'm getting all the mails done with you. 
Yunsuk is one of the most helpful people in probably all of Georgetown University. <laughs> He's never one to disappoint, and we will honestly miss you. Rand Chang. <laughs> Um, Rand was kind of behind the scenes during this MUN, but honestly, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't see her every day. She's, she's the glowing sunshine behind all of this conference. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> One of the like, most energetic staff I've ever seen. Um, she's been so helpful. She, she's probably done all of the name tags in this conference room right now. She helped us so much. This, I don't know what would have happened to this conference, honestly. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Amber Fall. <laughs> um, can I just first start by saying I'm so sorry for all of this. <laughs> you, she's done so much in this, during this conference. I don't think she's sat on a chair for more than two minutes at a time. Um, this conference would have honestly collapsed if it wasn't for her presence. And she's always been on the run and helping everyone. Thank you so much, Amber. We appreciate you. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, Naya Brana. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> I'm only a sophomore in Georgetown, but Naya was probably the first upperclassman that I got to know in Georgetown. So, <laughs> she means a lot more to me than just a co-worker or an MU1 worker. <laughs> um, she's, she's sent me notes for my classes. She's told me which professors to take and which not to take. She told me how to study for exams. She taught me what to do with MU1. She's been a guiding mentor for me personally during my whole Georgetown journey. I cannot begin to thank you for everything you've done to me and to everyone else. <laughs> Mayam, thank you so much for everything you've done to Georgetown. Um, one last round of applause for all the seniors. Uh, next, I would like to welcome on stage Isaac Khan. Oh, sorry, Amber Fall. As the chief of staff and press, I would like to extend my thank yous a sincere, sincere thank yous to all of the staff and all of the press that gave up their weekend during midterms, during exams, papers, everything to be here to help make this conference what it was. So I will li first uh, list the staff. Angie Afat, Noor Sheikh, Ola Shath, Shayma, Ismail, Shinyang, Masa, Sara, El Anud, Rowan, Hala, Fatima, Khulud, Katie, Sara, Yara, and Sujan. <laughs> they have been pivotal in keeping all of the committees running with notes, microphones, little errands here and there. Ismail for helping with the photo booth, getting everyone through. So thank you again. Now for the press who have done an amazing, amazing job of keeping the Instagram, the Facebook updated, as well as the Squarespace. Um, we have received amazing feedback regarding all of your posts and the excellent photos you've taken this weekend. So on the press team, we have El Anud, Buthena, Fatima, Jonah, Ngok, Reem, Sara, and Sara. <laughs> I would also like to thank Sara and Jibin for all of the work that they have put in. They have been here for every step of the way in planning and making sure that everything is running smoothly. Uh, 
Uh, I would like to welcome Aiza, no, Samira, sorry. <laughs> Rand. <laughs> Before I close, Georgetown Amu and I would like to call Jivan to the stage. The guy behind. <laughs> He's got a clap. Thank you, Rand. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I know that everyone's hungry for lunch, so I'm not going to ke uh, keep this long. Firstly, I would like to uh, thank all the delegates who came to Doha and the local delegates as well. The, the advisors as well, thank you for spending your weekend with us. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank all of the MUN staff because this is a completely student-run initiative and without the students and all of the MUN staff, this is not possible. But there's one person I would like to thank uh, because she has been there since the very beginning of her freshman year and uh, she's graduating now. It's none other than the Secretary General, Naya Brana. Naya Brana. <laughs> Finally, with the powers vested in me by Georgetown MUN Student Board, it is my distinct pleasure to, offic to officially declare the 2000 and MUN Georgetown MUN closed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>